My name is Jimmy and this, <laughs> this is the M240i, <laughs> it's a good one, 382 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque, all four wheels through the amazing all-wheel drive system, X-Drive, oh yeah, Sally. It's uh, automatic only, but I feel that not everyone's gonna be too upset by that. I think, you know, for this vehicle, for the commuter that it is, automatic actually works pretty well. And because it's automatic, you don't have to shift. You just put the foot down. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely a fun car. And it actually drives really, really well. Sure, it's heavier. I mean, it's 3,800 pounds, 3,870 some odd pounds. It's no lightweight. It's like 400 pounds more than a Supra, which has the exact same engine. So yeah, it's not gonna be maybe the most agile vehicle, but honestly, in this driver's seat, you don't really feel that. Being a BMW, it hides all that really, really well. When you're in sport mode, it's just all fun, 24 seven. You put that foot down and it's pure enjoyment. That's really what it is. It's such a great car. I mean, yeah, the steering can be a little numb, but that's okay. You know, for what it is, not a full on track car, I think this is completely fine. Kind of where it is. I don't feel like it needs to be that aggressive to, well, to be a good everyday vehicle and that's, kind of what this is marketed towards. The M240i is not, you know, full on race car. It's not a car that you're supposed to take to the track. I mean, you can, but it's not designed for that. It's designed for, you know, canyon roads, a little bit of carving here and there, and just nuts acceleration. Zero to 60, BMW claims is 4.1 seconds. Car and driver, well, with their rollout, 3.6. That's really, really quick. Like <laughs> under four seconds at zero to 60, it's absolutely nuts for a street car. It really is. I mean, if you think back a few years, there's really nothing out there that is this quick. So you know what? It's very, very capable and actually gets decent fuel economy. I mean, I've been driving it the entire week and I'm averaging right now at 11 liters for hundred kilometers. You can certainly get better than that and I'll throw up the screen of what it's actually rated. But the best thing about this M240, like I said, it is, well, it could be a really good commuter. In comfort mode, it's actually really quiet in here. It feels like a BMW. It's kind of, you know, it's sporty, but still luxurious. You don't feel like it's a base two series. I mean, comparing this to the other two series, the two series Grand Coupe, there's no comparison whatsoever. The Grand Coupe, well, that one just feels like a Mini. It really does. Whereas this actually feels like a BMW. And that's one of the best praises you can give. Sure, it's not a full-on M car. I get that. But you're not paying M money for this. So I think, you know, it's a good trade-off. Speaking of trade-off, the exterior. The, <laughs> it's not for everyone. Just going to flat out and say that. The front end, I think it's a good looking car in the front. I like the active shutters on the grill. It looks good up front. I have no problems with it. The headlights, even the overall side profile, how the front wheels are basically all the way up to the front. It's just a good coupe looking body. These are 18s. Yes, they're a little bit small, but because it is winter, they threw 18s on here just for you know safety and whatnot. But generally you get the 19s and they do look a little bit better. The most controversial part is the rear end. Not everyone's favorite. You know what, after staring at it for a week, 
I don't mind it as much. I really don't. I think there's a place for it. I mean, yes, the taillight tower protrudes out and the angle, it just seems weird. The 2 Series Grand Coupe, in my opinion, has a better rear taillight than this. I know a lot of people don't like that 2 Series Grand Coupe, but the taillights at least looks better than this. Honestly though, I mean, the overall look of the vehicle, front, side, rear, it's a toss up. Some people's gonna like it, some people's not. You know, it's totally up to you what you feel about it. You know, leave your comments down in the comment section below. How you feel about the 2 Series? Is it ugly? You know, you, you let me know. I think the previous generation was a little bland comparing to this. So at least they give it a little bit of pizzazz, right? They gave it a little bit more just to stand out. As for the inside, I mean, it's really typical BMW in here. The front seats are super supportive. On the driver's side, I got adjustable bolsters, which is nice as well. Um, there are the thigh cushion extenders, but I'm pretty sure the ones that we have on here are optional extra because the leather does feel a little bit more high quality. In front, pretty typical BMW steering wheel. It's basically the same with big paddles just on the back so you can shift gears easily. There's a full digital cluster, very similar to basically every single other BMW, no complaints. Same thing with the heads up display, as well as the infotainment. The iDrive system works really well. Sitting in here, I can reach the screen fully without fully stretching. It's a good placement for it. It's pretty easy to use. There's wireless CarPlay, which I enjoy. I mean, everything that you need, it's available there. So there's really no complaints that I have with the system. And because it's iDrive, you don't have to use the touchscreen. You got the knob down on the center. I mean, this is exactly the same as basically all other BMWs at this stage, but it works. Everything in here works. Dedicated volume knob, you got your presets, and really like this trim. This trim looks really funky and cool, but I'm pretty sure that's also an optional extra. What's not so cool, in my opinion though, are these kind of fish scales M things on the side. I, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, it just looks kind of weird. At night, it does look kind of cool when it you know shines up, but not my favorite, definitely not. Something else that's noteworthy are these back seats. They're definitely not the biggest. I'm 5'11", as you can see. I don't really fit in here. My head fully touches the ceiling. I do have to slouch down if I want any sort of headroom, so it's definitely not the best. If you're thinking of putting car seats in there, well, that's also a struggle. Because it is a coupe, getting the seats in there, that itself is difficult enough. But once you got the seats in there, there's not a lot of room. An infant seat is super hard to get in. You kind of have to squeeze it between the cushions here. There's just not a lot of room. As for a rear-facing seat, that also was a struggle. But, I mean, once it's in there, I think it's fine. The only thing is that front passenger seat is absolutely useless at this point. Like you can see, I'm, I'm 5'11", I basically don't fit. My wife at 5'2", does fit, but even she doesn't find it comfortable. If you have a forward-facing seat, you should be okay as it is a little bit better for that. But, you know, definitely not a family hauler. And if you want two kids in the back, yeah, good luck with that. That's definitely not, uh, not ideal. What's kind of nice is there's 14 cubic feet in the trunk, so there's decent amount of space back there. And the rear seats, they fold down 40, 20, 40, which was actually a surprise for me. I didn't expect a vehicle like this to have 40, 20, 40 split folding seats. So, you know, actually, if you want to take this up to the slopes, put your skis through the center, might not be that bad of an idea. And for the rear passengers, well, there's an HVAC control right there, so they can have their own climate. There's tri-zone climate control in this tiny little coupe. Why? Why? <laughs> Overall, this little M240 is actually quite a good car. With the base price of 56,950 Canadian dollars, it's actually not too bad. As tested, 68,595, because as basically all BMWs, once you stack on options, it does you know, bring that price a little bit higher. Here in Canada, you can't even get a 230. The M240 is the base. So if you really want just like an enthusiast BMW, the M240, the base model that you can get here in Canada, I think that's really the sweet spot. Sure, you might not get all the glitz and glamour that we get in here, but I think that's completely fine. You know, you don't need all of this if you want a driver's car. And I think 
you know, for everything that you're getting, it's it's good enough to compensate and overcome that rear end. I mean, only people that are behind you is looking at it. If you're, you know, bringing it to cars and coffee, just back into a spot, no one sees your back and you're completely fine. You don't have to be too ashamed of that back end. But I think that's really it. This little car is, it's fun, it really is. It has X drive, which means you can go, you know, every day, all season, you don't have to worry. And it's actually a decent hauler. Sure, might not be the greatest for kids, but you know, for you and one other, it's perfectly fine. Why not have some fun, right? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Take care.